Chestnuts family has gone nuts. Their videos serve as a perfect reminder of why family channels should just be banned across all social media platforms. You see, loves, it's either people forget or just don't care when they parade all their business online. The good, the bad, the ugly, and the utterly bizarre. What's worse for family channels is that there are kids involved, and honestly, if you can't protect minors, just don't have them. Take the Norris Nuts, for example. While most families are bonding over board games and movie nights, the Norris Nuts are busy parading their children online in the worst ways possible. So you'd wonder if they missed the memo on what's appropriate for family fun. One thing about these family channels is they do start off creating relatable content, but then somewhere after some time, the line between genuine family moments and staged theatrics gets so blurry that even a seasoned magician would be duped. So without a beat, grab your popcorn loves because we're about to put the Norris Nuts family under the microscope. The Norris Nuts need no introduction here on YouTube, but if you've been too busy decoding emoji messages to notice, no worries. I'll fill you in. The Norris Nuts is an Australian family vlogging and entertainment group that gained massive popularity on YouTube when Sabre Norris appeared on The Ellen Show because of her exceptional surfing skills. All the way from Australia, please welcome 11-year-old Sabre Norris. brought even more traffic to the Norris Nuts channel when Ellen DeGeneres sent her to the 2017 Kids Choice Awards where she interacted with several celebrities including Demi Lovato, Gwen Stefani, Maddie Ziegler, and Kevin Hart. I've looked up a wee Wikipedia that you used to be a shoe salesman. What do you like being be better, shoe salesman or a celebrity? First of all, why are you researching me? That's the first thing. Why are you... Why are you looking at my stuff? Would you like some Vegemite or some donuts? I don't want no Vegemite. I fell for that before. No, I don't want that either. Besides YouTube, the Norris Nuts equally have such a large and vibrant following on TikTok. It is absolutely a huge family consisting of parents Brooke and Justin Norris, along with their six children, Sabre, Saki, Biggie, Naz, Disco, and Char. Yes, these are the kids' actual names. Because who needs common names like John or Sarah when you can just name your kids after random items you found lying around the house. Saki, come down for dinner, must be a real hoot during laundry time. And don't even get me started on the creative genius behind Disco. It's like they settled on their kids' names by flipping a coin. Anyways, I digress. The Norris Nuts create various types of content, including challenges, pranks, vlogs, and family-friendly content, which would be okay if they didn't sprinkle a little bit of madness into everything. The Norris Nuts have like six other channels, which which also have very good engagements. The Norris Nuts have also attracted over 6 million subscribers, particularly among young audiences, and they often share glimpses of their daily lives and activities through their online platforms. One of their very problematic yet most viewed videos is letting our kids dress as 21-year-olds gone wrong. Because, you know, dressing kids as adults is every parent's dream come true. And of course, it's no surprise that the most controversial videos are always the ones going viral. This video has attracted a whopping 32 million eyeballs, y'all. Chaos and clickbait are always the magic trick, guys. Look at the thumbnail alone. The kids are manifesting their sassy diva era with all the makeup, money, and scandalous outfits. Then there's the dad pretending to be mad when it was all his idea to begin with. You might be thinking, uh, but Anna, there's nothing wrong with that video at all. These are just kids having fun. Here's the thing, y'all. If you're gonna have kids playing dress up as grown-ups, please, for the sake of common sense, don't post such content online. As a matter of fact, don't even take pictures and videos of such because they might leak. Because let me tell you, people on the internet can be seriously creepy. While it might seem harmless and entertaining to you, there are some downright low-life, sketchy, raggedy perverts out there who will get their kicks from watching kids pretending to be adults. It's like those videos that parents take of their kids in the bathtubs that somehow rack up millions of views. I kid you not, not everyone watches those bathtub videos thinking, oh, how cute. Look at that adorable baby playing with soap and bubbles. No, there are dark sides of such videos. And this is that they also cater to a rather disturbing audience who shouldn't be anywhere near kids. Y'all know what I'm talking about, right? So 
it's a major letdown that the Norris Nuts would create such content. Fully aware that the internet also has some seriously messed up individuals, unless of course one or both of the parents are also low-key twisted, and we will find that out in just a bit. Anyways, the Norris Nuts must have been over the moon when this video performed really, really well, and you know YouTube's unwritten rule, if a video goes viral, rinse and repeat. And sure enough, they did just that, which brings us to this video, which is the heart of the drama. Is this scandalous Halloween outfit? Do I need to prepare myself mentally? What? They get worse aggressively. Worse as in what? What do you mean worse? You'll, you'll find out. As you can already tell from the title, the outfits are definitely on the daring side. But y'all, I need you to pay a little less attention to Saber's wardrobe choices and zoom in on her parents' comments, okay? Oh, and one more thing, I'd like to remind you that at the time of filming, she was still under age. With that said, let's get into it. I think it's kind of sexy, but you still look like not tired. I'll give it like a 9 out of 10. I thought really? Yeah. Ooh. What? Did she just say, I think it's kind of sexy, but you're still like not tardy? The mom is literally saying sexy, I guess, but don't sell yourself short. Show them your full flair. And just when you thought it might have been a slip of the tongue, mama's in the zone because this is what she had to say about the second outfit. It's a leopard. Oh. Oh. I like the way you rock it, very nice curves. Oh, nice. Now, Listen up, some people might be pretty cool telling their kids that they are curvy. I really don't wanna get into that here, but here's one thing we can all agree on. This shouldn't be online because once you put it out there, you'll have opened the door for others to chime in on your kids' body. To make matters worse, they didn't even turn off the comments for this video and I don't even have to dig too deep into the comments to find one. Sabre is now a beautiful woman with such a banging body. Now, tell me y'all what normal parent would sleep well at night knowing too well that some creep out there thinks that their kid has a banging body. Only the Norris nuts. If a mother can describe her minor daughter as sexy and curvy on camera, hasn't she opened Pandora's box herself? And to the creme de la creme of it all, listen closely to what her father had to say about this outfit. Okay, maybe don't open your eyes. <laughs> if you're dressed up as a giant, you're in trouble. Okay. Ready? Ready? Set. <laughs> Go. It's a Playboy bunny. I don't think anyone should wear this one except if you were my wife. I don't think anyone should wear this one <laughs> except if you're my wife. <laughs> Guys. Cut the cameras. Dead ass. That right there is a parent who has just sexualized their child and posted it online. And then he follows it with this. Should we do mom wears? Do mom wears my skateboard <laughs> outfits and we roll right them. My wife should now wear the scandalous attires my daughter has just worn and we rate them. Honestly, at this point, I have nothing else to say. Guys, my only advice to you right now is to try as much as possible not to be born by parents who would do just about anything for fame. Speaking of fame-seeking parents, have y'all noticed that the Norris Nuts family just seems to have a knack for problematic clickbaity videos? Now look at this one. Of course 19 million people would rush to watch this video because if you didn't know, muscular fur rash can be caused by a drug reaction, but it's a bacterial and viral infection that can occur when you're dealing with infections like measles, scarlet fever, herpes, or HIV. Well, by the end of the video, it'd be pretty obvious that Naz's infection isn't as severe as they blew it up to be. So the only reason they'd clickbait with the rash is for the views because clearly the only thing more infectious than a rash is YouTube fame. Kids, if you want your parents to love you, just make sure you're marketable on YouTube. YouTube. Finally, loves, there's another angle regarding these creepy YouTube channels that we need to address. Isn't it strange that they don't always have to swim in a sea of controversy, scandals, and backlash to stay relevant, and yet that's all they do? I mean, seriously, they could be just as successful without all the drama, but they still somehow can't resist the allure of problematic content. Take the Norris Nuts, for instance. These kids have a whole arsenal of talents up their sleeves. Sabre, for one, is an absolute wizard 
on the surfboard. And she's been making waves in the scene since she was practically in diapers. This is what got her noticed by big time celebs like Ellen DeGeneres and on red carpets like the 2017 Kids' Choice Awards. But instead of riding on that glory, her parents would rather parade her in scandalous outfits. Make it make sense because I don't get it. And would you believe it, the Norris Nuts kids can sing. Well, their voices aren't exactly what you would describe as angelic, but you get the drift. They even have a thriving merchandise business. So tell me why their parents are so obsessed with making them jump through hoops. Now, here's a trend that's as clear as day. These channels that revolve entirely around kids' lives seem to be heading down a rather unfortunate path. Just look at the stories of Sis vs. Bro, Piper Raquel, the Nolan Twins, Dance Moms, and so many others. We can literally predict the ending. So here's the big question for you guys. What's your take on these channels? Do you think that they should keep rolling on or is it high time to hit the brakes? I'd love to hear your thoughts because honestly, it's starting to feel like these channels are on a collision course with their own downfall and that's a train wreck nobody should be cheering for. Thank you for watching loves and don't forget to click on the tab above for more videos on these celebrities and influencers.